look at my hairstylist. It's a crazy chicken lady too. <laughs> I got all these chickens. So I told you guys that I was gonna be vlogging some more like regular stuff. And so I brought my camera to my hair appointment because I wanted to introduce you guys to my friend Nora. Hey. And she owns a salon in BB, it's called Moxie. And this is really cool to me because I met Nora because of YouTube. Yep, she actually is a crazy chicken, crazy tomato chicken. lover. Tomato uh, loving fan. Where, can you see your tomato tattoo? Like, oh, I yeah. do, yeah. Tomato, yeah. Tattoo. tomato tattoo. Tomato tattoo. Right, right there. So, and so, yeah. chicken tattoo. The first time that we met, mm -hmm. I was like, yes, definitely found my people here yeah. and uh, made an appointment with her. Now we're great friends, so it's really cool how that yeah, works we out. We talk about chickens, tomatoes, and hair. Yeah, and she <laughs> watched the channel, and now we're good friends. So I thought I would bring you guys out here and introduce you to Nora. And see my new haircut. <laughs> Jeremiah and Kitten George are going to meet the UPS guy. Oh, Kitten George abandoned the test. Roll around in the driveway instead. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, so it's the next day, and yesterday was an errands in town day, and today has been a get stuff done at home day, so I haven't really turned the camera on, but um, I've got some things that have come in the mail that I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so I tore this one open first. Really excited about this. Um, I am going to grow ginger for the first time this year. Now, I really don't like trying to teach something that I don't know how to do, and I do not know how to grow ginger. I've never done that before, but um, I talked to Petra from Fruition Seeds and I love to tell you guys like resources like this. Um, and Fruition Seeds is one that I recommend a lot to those of you who are growing in the north. And I found Fruition Seeds, um, I think through Instagram a few years ago. And I've ordered from Fruition Seeds. Now they are catered towards northern growers, which doesn't mean that things that they sell won't grow in the south. Um, now some things might not be super heat tolerant, so you might wanna read that, but a lot of the stuff, it's just that they're selling things that are shorter day varieties or you know that, that come to maturity sooner. And Petra uh, sent me a message on Instagram recently um, because one of her varieties, the Italian heirloom, was on my top 10 tomato video. And uh, she said a lot of you had gone and purchased seeds and she just wanted to thank me with Ginger. She is like a joy bomb of a person and I adore her. I love watching her videos and anything she teaches through Instagram. And she sent me this Ginger. Now she has a really good tutorial. I watched it the first day that she put the tutorial out. I felt super confident in growing ginger. I'm not gonna try to teach you how to do this um, while I bumble through it, but I will send you to Petra. And I will link uh, Fruition Seeds down below so you guys can go check this stuff out and uh, sign up for her webinars because she did the ginger webinar. And I will share my process of doing this because I've gotta cut this stuff up um, and then it needs a week to like heal and then I'm gonna set up my seating mat on a heat mat and all of that stuff and do all of this per Petra's instructions. I'm pretty pumped though. Ginger, yum. Next exciting thing, this box, which came today while we have a, a 20 degree low tonight. So these things are gonna chill in the house for the next couple of days. And then uh, some of them I will start working on moving them out. Some of them are gonna be in the greenhouse for just a little while longer while we're setting up the space to put them. But this is my um, delivery from Stark Bros where we got all of our berry bushes for the garden. And we have a little bit more stuff coming from them. Um, but I'll just give you a quick look at this big box of beautiful plants. <laughs> there are a lot of things I've never grown before. I'm not, I have not been gardening for that long. I mean, I've been gardening for like 10, 11 years-ish. 
um, and the first half of that was on a very small scale. And so you learn a lot as you go. And um, there are things that I, I feel like I'm very successful in growing. I love to be a student and I love to learn and I know a lot of you are like that, that's why you're here. But there are a lot of things I have zero experience in. Um, and so I'm not ashamed to say I have no clue how to do that. And onions is something that for whatever reason have intimidated me. I would like to start onions from seed um, I always forget to get them started in time. And so essentially with onions and potatoes, kind of how it's gone for me is I get down to like the tail end of really being able to put those things in and I go, oh crud, I really wanted to grow those. And then I run down to the local feed store and just buy whatever they have. That's basically been my experience with onions. And this year I really wanted to grow, I wanted to grow some different things. Um, and so I got some onion sets. I got Walla Walla onions, uh, Texas super sweet onions. And then I also got, got some Lancelot leeks um, transplants. Now I really wanted to grow leeks because I watched this video. It's, oh, it's so cool guys. You have got to check this out if you're interested in growing food. It's called wartime kitchen and gardens and it's like a bbc show from i think like the late 80s but it's about the war era in um england and basically how these efforts had to be made to grow food it's so fascinating and i'd watch that and they were like at one point they made a recipe with some leeks and i was like ah, i've got to grow leeks never grown leeks before and I started some from seeds because I'd forgotten that I had uh, got some starts from here. So now I'm going to have a couple different kinds of leeks. These are the Lancelot leeks. And I have been doing some research about how best to plant these. But I'm going to wait until this cold snap passes um, because our weather is supposed to get more temperate after the next couple days. Next, all of these plants. So some of this um, is edible stuff and some of it is not because we're doing the perennial garden and my idea with that is that I wanted it to have like our berry bushes and I'm wanting, we're calling it the perennial garden. I don't know that that's really the best thing to call it, but it is where there are going to be perennials. But actually you guys suggested us moving like asparagus into our four by four foot beds and we were gonna make a place in the in-ground garden around the greenhouse, but I actually really like the idea of putting something like asparagus in the four by four foot beds because I really think it'll anchor that side of the garden. Asparagus is so neat looking, you know, once it's past the season and the plants have all grown up. So I'm kind of moving things around in my head and our perennial garden is actually gonna be somewhat cottage garden. And of course, cottage gardens, um, what's a cottage garden without roses? So we have, I've got multiple rose bushes in here and some clematis, which is very exciting to me. Uh, but here I've got multiple different blackberries and raspberries. Maybe too many, honestly. Um, I'm not entirely sure. There's another, there's a climbing rose. I love roses. As I've gotten into gardening, I've really gotten into it for the food. That's what really got me interested in growing a garden. For a long time, I was really like a self-professed black thumb and I said that I killed everything. Now I don't believe anybody is a black thumb. I think we can be um, under-informed, possibly a little negligent and we can be handed a bad set of circumstances, but you and your thumb can grow food. Um, and however, I have had this like desire in my heart to have something of a rose garden and it doesn't have to be, it's not gonna be, I mean, for the people who grow roses, like as a passion, I don't think that I'll ever get that into it because I am really motivated by growing food. But my, my hope was in that area around the greenhouse to really incorporate some roses throughout that. And that's what a lot of these are. And these plants are really beautiful. I'm actually gonna do some research and maybe you guys can help me um, because I don't have experience in planting this kind of thing very much. I planted my roses last year and they grew beautifully and I've had a few rose bushes before. But a lot of these, they're in these small pots and obviously the plants are really, really healthy. 
and they they look really good but I'm wondering like how long I have um, if I need to go ahead and up pot these or what the I, I need to do some reading and if you guys have any suggestions or um, resources on this um, this is new to me this is a new gardening adventure and I'm gonna learn it on the camera in front of all of you <laughs> I, re I really kind of just need to know what to do right now with it being so cold and us not being quite ready. We'll be ready soon to put everything in the ground. But I wonder if I need to put these in a larger pot in the meantime and maybe keep them in the greenhouse. So here are some of our larger berry bushes are in these gallon pots. I'm really impressed at how great all these plants look for coming in the mail. That is really cool to me. Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got multiple rose bushes and clematis. And then uh, these are blackberries. So these are both blackberries as well. These are three packs of smaller plants and these are raspberries. And that is a three pack of smaller plants. So uh, that's a good deal. We actually have one more box of berry bushes that are gonna be coming from Stark. But we're gonna get more, um, there's some other kinds of like raspberries and blackberries and then also blueberries. So that has been Jeremiah's baby. Now we all know that the garden is really my thing. Um, he is very supportive and happy to build things for me, but he hasn't taken just a massive interest in learning how to grow things. But he really, really wanted to devote some space to berry bushes to be able to grow fruit at home. And I agree, blackberries do fantastic um, here in Arkansas. They grow wild and we've picked them wild and that's why I haven't been super motivated to grow them because I pick a lot of wild blackberries. But, but the little blackberries that grow wild on the roadsides are very much a different thing than the big yummy juicy ones that we're gonna be getting from all of this stuff. So I'm pretty pumped. What do you guys think? Are you excited to see all of this stuff in the garden down there by the greenhouse? Oh, George. Are you living your best life in the sunshine? This vlog now officially spans the course of three days. It's the next day again, and I forgot to do a sign off last night, kind of wrap up the unboxing of my Stark Brothers stuff. I'm actually getting ready to start the next vlog for the next day, just a little insight into this thing that I'm doing now, because I've been doing daily content again. And uh, the way that this works sometimes is that whenever you see videos where it's like sit down in the basement and talk about one subject or whatever, like a lot of times, when there's vlogging that I'm going around and then some other type of content like talking about something, sometimes those are shot on the same day. And that is how I personally am able to make um, daily content while still having days off because it's very important to rest. And so um, that is why the last um, couple of days, it's taken me three days to shoot this video. Um, but you've still been seeing videos every day. That's why. So I, last night, I opened my Stark Brothers order for the camera yesterday afternoon. And last night I actually made a little post on Instagram of my plants on my kitchen table. And Stark Brothers actually messaged me and offered you guys a coupon code. They said, no pressure, but we wanted to offer this up for your viewers if it's something that you're interested in sharing and Absolutely, I love when I get to get coupons for you guys and deals um, because I am such a like <laughs> thrift shopper. So whenever I get to pass that on, I love it. So the coupon code is all caps, roots and refuge, all one word. I'll put it down below so you don't have to remember that, but it's 10% off a purchase of $50 or more. So uh, we actually have more stuff coming from Stark. We have uh, more berries and perennial stuff but I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what to do with these things for the next few days. Probably I'm just gonna keep them in the house and put things by the window so they can get some light, make sure they stay moist, uh, and then we'll worry about taking them outside once it's not so cold. So thank you guys for hanging out with me over the course of the last three days. I bless you, until next time. <laughs>